Want to know an easy way to figure out if you should use past simple, past perfect, or present perfect? Then watch this video and find out. If that's not you, congratulations, you're good at English tenses. Before we get to how to know which one to use, a quick reminder of the three tenses. Past simple is the easiest one, hence the word simple in its name. This is used to talk about something that happened in the past and it's finished now. I'm at a specific time and it's done. I walked to the store yesterday. Yesterday is the time it happened. You're not walking there anymore. So it's finished. The action's done. Present simple. Past perfect is used to talk about something that happened before another thing. Both of these are in the past, but one happened before the other, like a movie prequel. So if you don't know what a prequel is, that's when a popular movie's made, and then they make a movie after that movie, but it's about what happened in the past before the original movie. So examples for this be Star Wars and Harry Potter. Star Wars started with episodes four, five, and six, made in the 70s and 80s. Then in the 2000s, they made episodes one, two, three, talking about what happened before the originals. Harry Potter movie series was made. And then recently, they made those movies talking about what happened before, the Fantastic Beasts and the Dumbledore movies. Those are prequels. So past perfect is a lot like a prequel. It talks about something that happened before another thing. An example, I had already eaten breakfast before I left for work. Both things are in the past. I ate breakfast and I went to work. But I ate breakfast before going to work so this is like the prequel setting up whatever happened on my way to work. We're using past perfect. And keep a note, we use had and we use the past participle, the verb three. So verb one, eat. Verb two, eaten. Wait. Verb one, eat. Verb two, ate. Verb three, eaten. That's the past participle. And next one, present perfect. This one has two ways we use it. One, for something that started in the past and is still happening now. I have been living in the city for five years now. I started living in the city five years ago. I'm still living there now. And keep a note, perfect tense, I used have and I used been. So the verb three and have. The second way is to talk about something that happened at an unspecified time. Sometime in the past, but we don't say when. I have visited Paris three times. That's just sometime in the past, you have visited there, but you didn't say when, use past perfect. Also keep a note, perfect tense, use have and the verb three. So now the good part, how to know when to use each of these. Good news, it's very simple. You just have to ask yourself three questions. Number one, is the action or event finished with no connection to now, no connection to the present? If the answer is yes, use past simple. Number two, did one event happen before the other in the sentence? The answer is yes. Use past perfect. Number three. Is the action or event ongoing or does it have a connection to now, to the present? The answer is yes. You guessed it. Use past perfect. So that's it. Pretty simple, right? Three questions you can know for sure which one of these tenses to use. This should make your homework a lot easier 
or when you're speaking to an English speaker, you'll know which one to use. I hope you guys liked the video and I hope I made it clear for you. Let me know any questions in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video. It really helps me out. I'll see you guys later.